us, what our pastor is teaching right now, we call the rod of iron, which is the teaching of self-defense. Um, we as good, you know, people, um, you know, we strongly believe in the Second Amendment. You know, people have the right to bear arms. And in God's kingdom, you have to protect that. You know, you have to protect, you know, against evil. So showing the rod of iron, which represents, wow. you know, for, for, for our church, is the AR-15. And it represents that you can protect against evil with that rod of iron, in a sense. I don't need a freaking assault weapon to defend myself. Only thing they're good for is killing, period. That's all that weapon is good for, mass killing. And you want to bless it? Shame on you. It's scaring people in the community. I mean, the school had to move to another location today. Yeah. Um, so I, I want to know, like, are you aware of that effect? And like, yeah, what, what, how do you talk well, well, to people here's, about here's that? Here's the funny thing is that uh, this, this has actually been made public that we're going to do something like this. And so it's actually, scaring well, people. Well, well, here's the thing. <laughs> actually, it'd be a lot more scarier if we didn't put it out in public. I'm of the side of the opinion that we do have the right to bear arms, and only for the purpose of protecting and defending our families, not to make war. It's a, it's a weapon of defense to keep the peace. Amen.